the newly constructed road at the gates of the Turkish city of Aliyah still winds over lonely hills to just a single destination, the new location of Attic Metal. But the elegant 248-meter-long blue building won't stand alone for long in the industrial park being built here. One of Europe's most modern foundries began production here just a few weeks ago. The highest environmental standards that a foundry can fulfill have been implemented here. Because the plant features a completely new design, it was possible to optimize the planning and realization of the material flow. We see how the production line runs from one side of the building, where raw materials are delivered, to the other side of the facility, where finished castings are loaded onto pallets. With the goal of one day producing 50,000 tons of castings per year at this facility, all of the companies involved were given specifications for a production chain characterized by an exceptionally high level of material throughput. Belt conveyor technology from VHV Anlagenbau provides for the transport and provisioning of casting sand. The firm Gustav Eirich is the supplier of the plant's mixing technology, and Heinrich Wagner Sinto is responsible for the molding line with its associated transport and handling system. Once the castings have been demolded, an Actos blast unit is used to clean the surfaces of sand and casting residue. Bei der Auswahl der Anlagen haben wir Wert darauf gelegt, immer die guten, die besten Anlagen zu bestellen und haben dazu Firmen wie Actos, HWS, Eirich äh, gewählt, mit denen wir heute angefangen haben, sehr gute Ergebnisse zu erzielen. Let's take a closer look at the flow of materials. After achieving the desired cooling time, the molds are automatically moved into the soundproof punch-out station. Here the mold is punched out upward by a hydraulic stamp and then pushed onto the shaker grate. The casting is gently but completely freed of sand residue in a matter of moments. After being emptied in this way, the mold halves are returned to the molding line by the gripper mechanism and the molding cycle begins again. In the basement, the used sand, which is sometimes still clumpy, is transferred back to the preparation station by VHV conveyors equipped with heat-resistant conveyor belts. Up above on the ground floor, the castings leave the demolding station on a vibratory conveyor. A manipulator then sorts the work pieces, which can have a temperature up to 400 degrees Celsius, into the transport baskets of an overhead conveyor system. The first station in this system is a four-track cooling zone supplied by Actos. In this almost 30-meter-long tunnel, four fans with an airflow capacity of 15,000 cubic meters per hour remove the waste heat. The power and free conveyor line has 45 transport carriages, so that the system can always buffer a sufficient number of hangers. After an automatic control system checks for protruding workpieces, the two carriages advanced further into the Agtos double chamber blast unit. In the case of this special design, the unit can process twice the number of parts. The loading device transports the hangers to their blasting position. After that, an electro-pneumatic locking mechanism secures the four sequentially positioned doors of this continuous pass-through blast unit. The heart of the modern blast unit is made of hardened manganese steel and equipped with eight high-performance turbines. Because of the high flow rate of extremely abrasive blast media, the interior surfaces, which are subjected to the highest stresses, are additionally protected by easily exchanged wear plates. During the preset program time, the rotating workpieces are blasted in three positions. The staggered blast angle of the turbines ensures that even complicated shapes are reliably cleaned. 
Attached to the exit vestibule is a workroom in which, if necessary, workpieces with cavities that retain blast media can be manually blasted with compressed air. The completely sealed entry and exit vestibules thus reduce noise levels. Depending on the geometry and degree of surface contamination on the workpieces, the cycle time varies from 2 to 6 minutes. The central switching and control unit regulates all of the equipment necessary for operation and schematically displays the operating sequence. The dust removal system consists of two Agtos cartridge filters, type PF4325. Based on the level of surface contamination, the optimal cleaning cycle time is set by a differential pressured controlled impulse control system. The blast media recovery system can also be seen on this upper level. The mixture of sand and dusty blast media, which is transported up and out of the basement by two bucket elevators, first passes through two sequentially positioned magnetic rollers to remove the sand. After that, a cascaded air separator de-dusts the blast media. The separator, which washes the air laterally, has a width of 2,000 millimeters and achieves a removal rate of 99.8%. When full, the blast media bunker can hold 20,000 kilograms of blast media, which here has a grain size of S550. The discharge line of the hangar type conveyor system branches off to the 10 cleaning stations, where the joints of the castings are manually reworked. Once the plant is complete, dust that collects on the tables will be extracted and filtered at a rate of 30,000 cubic meters per hour. Lifting devices from KBK systems have already been integrated into the rails to help with the loading and unloading of the workpieces. Trucks and lorries with attic metal have been rolling out of the new plant in Aliaha since the spring of 2011.